Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be having a look at my latest build. This is a low predator. So this frame comes from Tomo Quads uh, based out of Orlando. I really like this frame first off. It does come with a lot of accessories. So you do get a set of the 3D printed parts in the color of your choosing. So these little motor guards here and these little pieces that line the side plates on the inside. So this is a also comes with soft mount, so pretty cool. You get a lot in the kit, along with the frame, obviously, and all the hardware you need. This is 90 millimeters motor to motor, two inch props, and kind of like the way this is done with the standoffs kind of offset, and they allow the props to kind of get in there and uh, kind of rotate underneath or in between the side plates. So really compact micro design. And obviously the must have is the compatibility with the Runcam Micro Swift. So I do have the Runcam Micro Swift with the 2.3 millimeter lens on there. I kind of like this 2.3 millimeter lens. I know most people are going for the 2.1. This is a little bit less wide. I, I kind of like this one a little bit better. Uh, as far as the stack, I've got basically an Eoshin Mini Cube in here, F3 Mini Cube and the Eoshin 10 amp all four in one ESCs. As for the motors, I've got the DYS 1104 6500 KV. I plan to run this a lot on 3S. You can see the little TPU motor mount that came with the frame kit. VTX 03 on the back. Just a little whip antenna. I'm thinking about doing something about that, but for now, that's what I've got. And uh, FreeSky XM Plus, my favorite micro receiver. Running with the GemFan 2040s. And uh, if you guys have watched my videos about these props, I have a, a few of them, I think, at this point. Coming to the conclusion that I like these better for 3S but I like the 2035s better for 2S. Like I said, my plan is to mostly run 3S on here, so 2040s are the way to go. Motors run a little bit cooler for me anyway. The batteries I've been using with this thing is the Tattoo 3S450. I've also got a couple of videos up about this battery as well. i gonna show you what this looks like when it's on here. Fits really good underneath here. And then I've got a little two LED strip with a integrated buzzer in the back there. There we go. So yeah, I like this thing a lot. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I like how the camera is up high so it's really clear of the props. You won't see the props in the FPV feed. The frame with all the 3D printed parts attached weighs, I weighed it in at 19 and a half grams. So not bad, I mean, that includes the, um, the motor guards and everything, so. We've got a two and a half millimeter bottom plate, and I believe it's one and a half millimeters on the side plate and top plate. So the way this design kind of works, it's neat. So you can build your whole stack, get everything uh, fixed on the bottom plate, and then the whole pod with the four standoffs kind of lifts off so you can get all your FPV gear installed and then just stick it back on. I've got the XM receiver on top, XM plus receiver on top of the stack, kind of sandwiched inside there. Uh, and then I decided to, it looks like the way the top plate is, and you can't really see it, that there's a cutout for the um, screen for the VTX, almost like they want you to put the VTX on top of the stack. I guess if I had smaller standoffs, maybe I could have done that, but I really only have room for the receiver there, so I've kind of got the VTX on the back here. It's a little bit exposed, but I, I think it'll be okay. I think this standoff roll bar will, will kind of help shield it. Like I said, the, the frame with all the, the hardware weighed, I weighed in at 19 and a half. And without the battery, everything all together, let's see where we're at. 79.9 grams, so basically 80 grams. And with the heaviest battery I'm planning on running, hundred and twenty one point four. I don't know if you guys can see that, or 121.6 with the battery. So not bad, pretty good weight. You know, you do get a run cam micro on here, so it's a little bit heavier than your kind of cheapo all-in-one VTX. One thing that's kind of not so great, but not the end of the world is you don't have easy access to the USB port on the side of your, on the side of my flight controller because the standoff is in the way, but that's kind of easy to take off back on, in fact, as I was kind of getting this thing set up, I left this standoff off for probably the first day or two. That way I could easily just kind of 
get connected to the PC in Betaflight there. Uh, as far as Betaflight, I am running 3.2 on here with dynamic filter and the notch filters off and kind of basically just the stock pids for now. Nothing really special going on there. I do need to do a little bit of tuning. You'll see in the DVR footage, but it's, it's pretty close. It, it flies pretty good just out of the box like this. And if you want to see what the bottom plate looks like there, basically a true X. So I like that as well. Got my XT30 lead here. Yeah, I really enjoy this thing. So, you know, look forward to getting some DVR footage as I kind of put this thing through the paces. I've got a little bit of line of sight footage for you today to start off with. So you can kind of see what the thing looks like in the air. That was kind of the, basically the maiden there in the backyard. And then uh, went out with Mark to the park and put a 2S battery and a couple of 2S and a couple of 3S batteries to this thing. And I got some DVR footage of that for you as well. So yeah, I really am really impressed with kind of the quality of this frame. I like that all the little 3D printed parts are included and you kind of get a lot in the package. And the design is, is really good. Mark, um, and I'll have a video up probably next week. We've got another quad. Another frame from Tumble Quads as well. Mark's got the newer Micro 2. Uh, so he's getting that up and running. Really impressed with that design as well. So I like, you definitely like these frames from Tumble Quads. Would definitely recommend them. I may get another one. Maybe we'll get a little bit of a, like a two and a half for one of their three inch frames and, and check that out because this has been really, really cool so far. Really like the way this looks. Really neat. Really, really good frame, in my opinion. Stay tuned. Got some line of sight and then uh, some FPV footage for you as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy. Have a good one.